Baby Fluffer is a language expert that revolutionized the way in which we use language every day. Sometimes he's a little bit, um, you know. We are proud to present to you Baby Fluffer. Hello, my name is Bebe Flopula and I am a language expert. We could say that I use language every day. Now, I came here to show you an idea that will revolutionize the way that you, my little viewer, live your life. Do you ever feel like there's a barrier between you and other people, one that will never be breached and you will be for always alienated? alone in your thoughts that can be mediated to other people and really what other people just say are empty phrases to calm you down so that you wouldn't annoy them anymore and they could move on with their lives and leave it behind like some piece of dirt that was just in the way for the whole time well that's because it's true <laughs> a smiley face because I'm always happy and one day this will happen which is very spooky now this is Bob and as you notice he does not have his face because that's really what people are now how would you communicate with Bob if you were me well probably you would try to communicate what you have in your thoughts to him with a magical device that we call language and as you can see language is a very complicated thing now it's Again. Now, let's say I have an idea which looks like this. Now, I want to transmit that idea to Bob, but I can only do that with the use of a language. Yes, and well, there's a potential problem because we don't really know what it is. What is language? <laughs> Does anybody know? Well, and now, because you know, language mediates our thoughts there are problems that you know arise and maybe bob has a different idea what i mean you know i say hey bob i love you and he's like <laughs> so actually once my ex said that nobody is gonna love me because i'm a monster now what does love even mean? And what does monster mean? Well, who knows? And I will frankly never know because her thoughts were mediated through a language that is just conventional. It can mean anything. I can say that love is, um, I don't know, number five is love. Like, fuck it. Uh, this is a dog now. And this is a, and this is, this is my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You see, you see everything. Signs are conventional. We can just make shit up. Like, haha, I love you. Haha, <laughs> you're a stupid piece of shit. Haha, <laughs> Bob, I fucked your wife. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> With this, I was relating to the fact that the relation between signs and meaning seem to be based purely upon agreements. As individuals, we are free to choose which agreements we will accept and create new ones. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> now, imagine there would be a device uh, that, like, you know, two people could just, you know, wear and, you know, it could just mediate the thoughts uh, directly without language. That would be, that would be great, right? That could, every problem of language ever would be no more. But of course, we don't have a uh, tool like that. <laughs> okay, let's lighten the tension a bit. Oh, it's very silent all of a sudden. Can you hear the silence? <clears throat> now, how are we going to solve the problems of language, I ask you? <laughs> now, this is a very good question. And I have a very good answer. One that will, in fact, revolutionize the way that you, little viewer, live your life. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. I have something in my pocket that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, Bob. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, it's nothing harmful. It's just the most important answer to the questions of language that we ever had. Is this thing. Is this thing so what is this thing have you ever encountered like a misunderstanding when somebody was like hey bring me the chair but the chair wasn't really there there was only like a old uh, sofa that was kind of you know kind of tinier you know the, those of the tinier sofas that are kind of lighter to like move so they were they would he was like bring me that chair but he was like what chair there is no chair and he he would then pointed to the sofa and you were like oh the sofa the sofa but the sofa is not a chair right so you know like like those those, those um you know those uh, problems of language that um those fundamental problems of language now i have a very good solution now, what is that? What do I wear? What, what, what am I wearing? I'm wearing a... I'm wearing a cloth. A, 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 a clothes. Uh, cloth. I'm cloth. I am not aware of why I referred to that item right? as clothes. Now, 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 what am I gonna do? And this is what will revolutionize our way how we talk. But since meanings are conventional, I can do whatever I want. Now, everybody knows what I'm referring to when I say Cloth. Now, now, what is this? It, it, it's a blackboard. It's a whiteboard. So what I'm gonna write here is W uh, board, you know, and I'm gonna put this on here. No, everybody knows what we're talking about when we say whiteboard. <laughs> what is that? It's a t-shirt. I'm gonna write t-shirt. And I'm gonna put it over here. No, everybody knows what t-shirt is. Let's play this game. Let's play this game. Come on. What is, um, what is...
What is that? It's a pillow. Yes. So what I do, I write pillow. Now everybody will know what we're talking about when I say pillow. <laughs> now, what we have to do is to agree upon a very certain ontology on what there is. So, we have our ontology. And now, we just have to agree upon what exists. Now, tell me what exists. Does a cloth exist? Well, yeah, because it's right here, it's written out, it's written right here. A cloth does exist. What else exists? Oh, what is that? Another existing entity? Oh, what does it say? T-shirt! And we can go like that forever. We can go like that forever and once we name all the objects that exist and put a tag on them, we have solved the problems of language altogether. Once everything is you know, tagged, we will always know what we're talking about. Seriously, cut. 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 <laughs> cut. <laughs> cut. Cut. Yes. Come on, cut. Cut, cut, I'm turning off. Okay, so I want to turn off. Boys. Do you like that? I turned the sound off. I turned the sound off. I don't want to be a part of the show anymore. Goodbye. And that's how we solve the problems of language. Can, can we go? 